Now, in this video, we're going to talk about a ton of stuff. Thresholds, prompting, shaping, reactivity, being proactive, all this stuff. Because here, again, we have this little Yorkie, and we're conditioning him to be less reactive. And so what we're doing is we're shaping this behavior. So what I want him to understand is that we're going to be around certain triggers. And what I know for sure is this guy is majoritively leash reactive. So what that means is when he feels leash tension, he's even more so triggered by it. So I know that because when the leash is not involved in the equation and we are appropriately around his triggers, being dogs, and we're working, he can ignore. If he can be able to see things and he has enough distance at the start and he's, again, not being triggered by leash tension, he's cool. He's cool as a cucumber. But big things are is, one, I'm not starting out in a small space like here. Here I'm on this little crosswalk at the shopping center and there's not a lot of place to go. Now, we have progressed to reach this point. And what I'm doing is even proactively training for those situations where, surprise, a dog comes or a distraction comes. Because I want this guy to be ready. Because you never know what's going to come around the corner. And even here, he doesn't notice the dog because I got his engagement. I'm moving him around. But I do want him to see it. So... He does see it at this point, but here the dog's already passed. We're actually past the most stressful part. And that actually just requires me to handle and be able to prompt and just be able to handle the situation instead of just kind of waiting to see what happens. Here, again, I'm walking down the sidewalk as a dog's coming to us. And then I'm going to just handle the situation. I'm not really going to wait like I was doing before and waiting for him to just make a decision. We've done all that. That's the training. That's the conditioning that we've done. We're going to lose this situation. This kid's unfortunately getting pulled by his dog towards us. And so I, there's no chance I'm going to, in this small space, be able to win. I'm not shoving food down this dog's throat. I'm just walking calmly, leading him away from a for sure reactive situation. And then once the dog's passing, hey, we're coming back. And I know this dog isn't out crazy reactive. He can interact with dogs. However, he is leash reactive. So when on leash, he's a lot more reactive, especially when he feels that tension and he's prompted by it. Now, we've been able to really grow a good good play drive outside just through working and kind of teasing this dog with the toy and cutting off all of his other options so instead of smelling instead of looking at other things we get him engaged and then we get to get a better play drive out of him if your dog likes to play but doesn't like to play outside that's probably the reason they're too distracted now with place what we're doing is we're just adding on more to it kind of like in everything when you're just going through the flow of training, you start out in all these small little steps and you slowly challenge your dog more and more. So when you're first teaching them a place, I don't really care what they do. They just have to touch it. They just have to get onto it. They just have to stay there for a short period of time. But now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding in a recall to this target. And then what we're going to start to shape is a good down. So again, in the beginning, I'm just doing this nice and easy. I got a loaded hand. I'm sending him into this down because I know he's going to do it. And then what I'll start to do is wean off of all that help. But right in the beginning, we're just going through the motions. I want him to succeed. He got on this so, so stinking well. He even beat me to it that I rewarded him then and there. And then we put him into the down. And then we'll start to add in some distance. Make sure that you're, when you're doing things, I don't even care in the beginning to talk to the dog. Just get him going through the motions. And then we'll slowly build from there.